Now this is a really basic circuit. We've got a cell and a resistor. When I connect it up, there is a current in that circuit, but we can't tell. So the way we measure it is by using something to measure the amps, and that is an ammeter. Now the important thing is that the ammeter always goes in series with the other components. And then when I connect this up, the reading on the ammeter, in this case, is about 0 0.14 of an amp. And we can see that this is a positive value. In actual fact, if I was to turn the cell around this way, if I put that in the other direction, we now get a negative reading. It's still uh, 0 0.14, it's, it's about the same value as it was before, but now we've got a negative value of the current. And the reason for this is that conventional current always goes from positive to negative in that circuit. So in this circuit diagram here, we've just got two cells and two resistors. Now the cell, the longer side, is the positive side, and we can maybe think about this as positive and negative. So this is the positive side of the cell, and that means that this is the positive side of the battery, and that's the negative end. Now by convention, we say that electricity goes from positive to negative. So if I just put I to show the direction of that conventional current, we have it going this way around the circuit. However, even though this is what we say is going from positive to negative, the actual electrons, and actually these were discovered later than after we already had some electric circuits and we, we'd already named which was a positive and the negative terminal, we actually found out that the electrons, which are the charged particles moving in normal circuits, these have a negative charge. And that means that they're going to be going from the negative end and they're going to be attracted towards the positive end of that cell or the battery. So, just to summarise, the conventional current goes from positive to negative, but the actual electrons, the things which are actually moving, are going from the negative to the positive end of that circuit.